Hello everyone and welcome to a Pinkaching training video on how to enter your Facebook RSS into Pinkaching. Now with the Panda update, it has become even more important to sync your Facebook fan page, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, YouTube accounts, and all your other social media profiles with your actual money site. So in fact you want to actually use Pinkaching not just on your money site, but on all your social media profiles. So today we're going to be promoting my Pinkaching Facebook fan page. Let's go on over to either Manage Projects page, enter in the project you want to add. In this case, I want to add my Pinkaching fan page, so I'm going to click Pinkaching. I'm going to add a new URL, and we just label the URL something so we'll remember. Now head on over to Facebook and grab your fan page URL. When you're on your fan page, this will be your URL. Paste that into Pinkaching. And normally with Pinkaching, you are able to hit the fetch metadata from net. And what this would do would be it would auto fill in your keywords, RSS URL, titles, and descriptions. But for Facebook and some other sites, this trick actually does not work because it pulls in. Facebook's own metadata information. Um, so this isn't promoting Pinkaging at all, this is promoting Facebook. So in this case, with Facebook, we want to cancel and we don't want to use the metadata. So we're going to have to actually enter in the information ourselves. In this case, it's a bit tricky to find the RSS URL and it's important to promote that. Thankfully, Thanks to JLM Merchandise, Surveillance, Security, Safety, and Solutions, he did a bit of research and he was able to find the, uh, the Facebook RSS feed. Uh, it took a little bit of research. Previously, Facebook used to have this information available and you're able to find the RSS easier, uh, but it's become trickier. So through his research, uh, this is what he found. I'll post this long URL underneath the video and on my blog post. But this is the URL you want to take, is highlight that. At the end, you'll see your Facebook fan page ID. Obviously, you're going to want to delete that. So first, head on over back to your fan page wall. And if you look at the URL here, at the very end, you'll see a string of numbers. <clears throat> this string of numbers is your Facebook fan page ID. This is what you need. So go ahead and copy that and paste it onto a notepad. So you have this. You can see here I pasted in my whole UR fan page URL and then I just extracted it for just the fan page ID. Lastly, I took the URL that you'll see on my blog post and I deleted the your fan page ID. But make sure you leave the equals there. So delete everything after the equals at the end. Then lastly, paste on your fan page ID. Now you will have a unique RSS URL address for your fan page which previously was uh, hard to find. Go ahead and copy this new RSS URL and head over back to your browser and paste it in to make sure that it's correct. If it's correct, it'll look something like this, only it'll say your company's uh, name. Now you can copy that information and paste it right into Pinkaching. With this RSS URL, once you have finished entering in your titles, descriptions, and keywords, You'll be able to go to the submissions page and be able to promote your RSS URL. So this was a big thanks uh, to JLM for his help and research on finding out uh, how to locate the RSS URL for Facebook. Remember, you want to promote your Facebook to social bookmarking sites, RSS distribution, um, also promote your YouTube channel and your Twitter channels as well. These are important things to be entering into Pinkaching. So I hope this video helped you on finding the RSS URL uh, for your Facebook fan page.